Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a speed build in university life. And this is going to be like an apartment complex type of build. I wanted to create four separate homes for like four separate sims, you know, because in regular dorms you have like a group home and you have like millions of rooms in one room and it's, oh my God, it's crazy. So I thought, why not make four separate rooms so your sims can have their own social life, but also be by themselves when they want quiet time, you know, like that. So I am creating a center gazebo, as you'll notice, and this is where we're going to have like parties, outdoor grilling, and whatnot, okay? That's what that's for, basically. So there's our columns. I love col These columns have new features, which I don't like. So you have to place them individually now. You can't just like drag, drop, drag, drop. It's like, ugh, it's a big to-do now. All right, now I'm placing all my front doors. I realized though, after I placed all the front doors halfway through the build, that the front doors and the last two in the way back were like placed oddly, so, oops. <laughs> so I'm adding a little, you know, pavement to the little doorways and whatnot. I do have to change the size of the gazebo at some point because I realized they may not be able to get to the, the back like doors to the back apartments, but we figure that out. The L-shaped staircase worked super well in the two back apartments, so I love that feature. I'm so glad they made that a feature. Oh, it's so helpful. So here we go in the first apartment. Now, the back two apartments are going to be really big. And then the front two are going to be kind of small. So it's like you're paying for like a smaller apartment when you move in. And then you can pay for a bigger apartment if you want to move in there. The bigger apartments, I will say, do have a full kitchen. The smaller ones do not but what they lack in kitchen they make up for in entertainment and you'll see why in a moment when we get to the next apartment so there we go i had to re, re, re redo that because i want to try and make like an a loft like apartment but it wasn't going to work so i just said forget it we're not doing that no loft apartments here so there we go i wanted to add a bathroom underneath the staircase but i realized you wouldn't do that I mean, maybe you can, I don't know, if you can put like a room underneath the staircase, do let me know in the comments because I don't know how to do that. So there's our full bathroom, I mean bathroom, our full kitchen that we're adding. Um, yeah, I'm using, you know, the, the cheaper end stuff because, you know, it's, it's college life. You can't afford high end stuff. So we're going to go a little cheapo on this, you know, El Cheapo to say conserve money and be a college student as we would say so there's that love the kitchen looks amazing and i'm using the island counters as essentially like your table because i had no room for a table and a chair so the island is where you're sitting for your meals sorry um but literally this is a one person apartment so if you think you can fit two sims in here good luck with that one because i sure as hell i couldn't um, yay, all right. I have never used these lights before, but I thought this was a great wall feature considering how the walls are super tall right now. I didn't realize how tall the walls are until like a few minutes later, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Let's utilize this to our advantage. So I wanted to add these Christmas lights, but they weren't really working in the way I wanted them to, so we switched them up for these ones here, which are from... The outdoor retreat, I think it is, and I've never used them, so yay! That's fun. Oh, and look at these guys. We have these cool little window features. So I'm using these windows on the top of the houses, and that's gonna be that, guys. That is it. Our windows are gonna be on the very top. So you do get sunlight, but it conserves space. More room for paintings, more room for like wall art, whatever, you know? All right, and the flooring and the wallpaper, the paint are going to be the same in roughly every house, so that's going to be kind of that scenario there. The upstairs is going to be very generic. Yep, there we go. So I wanted to use this dresser, but I realized it was super huge. <laughs> And then I probably couldn't fit it anywhere, so I was like, ooh. So I went for this little tiny one here, only to realize later in this chat build that there was a bigger one, a smaller one that was university. So I was like, okay. We do go back and change it towards the end. There's our windows. 
love, I just love these windows. They're just so perfect for this build. If a little plant over there, you know, why not, right? And there isn't really a lot of wall art for university. A lot of it you have to unlock, so it's like, okay, what do we do? What do we put here? So this is like, oh, put random paintings here and there, you know, it's fine, right? Yeah, totally. Gotta fit a bookcase in there, because you just never know when you're gonna need a bookcase. And our living space in these bigger apartments is really, really small. So you just get a chair and a small little TV, and that's it. That's all you get for your living room. That's it. Uh, yep. Gotta love college life. <laughs> I added, like, a, a rug only in this one apartment, which I realized at the end of the build. And then I was just like, you know what? Forget it. We're not going back. We're leaving it. Only one apartment gets a rug. That's it. Uh, yep. I don't know why I was re rearranging stuff up here, but I was. It's just like, what? But, yeah, that's that, so, fun. I'm now adding a lamp on the desk because I figured, why not? And I couldn't find the one from university, so it was just like, oh, well. <laughs> but then I ended up finding it. I, th I found it later on, though. There's our siding. Yay, and our roofing. So this is essentially what the houses are all going to look like. They're going to be, like, symmetrical, sort of, so the two houses in the back will have the same roofing, and the front houses will have the same roofing, which you'll see towards the end, because we're not going to get to that just, just yet. So there we go. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. Oh, yay. So good, guys. It's such a good build. I was impressed with the build, to be honest. I love it. It's amazing. So fun. So, um, this will be in the gallery to download if you guys want it. Um, my username on the gallery for The Sims 4 is bsblover89. Any of my speed builds you see on my channel here are also on the gallery, as well as many others that I've made prior to doing YouTube and prior to anything else. So, have a look at my gallery. I got some pretty neat builds on there. Yeah. So, here's a smaller one. We're adding only a main staircase. No L-shaped staircases could fit in this one, so... It's a very basic home. You're going to get a tiny little kitchen. Trust me on that. So this is upstairs. We're building quickly. Uh, very basic. Just a bed and a dresser and a bathroom. And that's all you're getting for your upstairs. You're not getting your... We're going to put the uh, desk downstairs because it won't fit up here, obviously. I mean, maybe if you're like a really crafty sim, you could fit there. But I sure as heck couldn't. So, yeah. And really not much wall art, but, you know, I found something to work with, so whatever. It's good. There we go. So I was going to try and put, like, a full kitchen here, but I figured out it wouldn't work, so there we go. S little mini fridge and a microwave. That's all you're getting from me. But we can at least fit a couch, though. So you get a couch and a huge TV. That's what we make up for. So you get a bigger TV, but you lose your kitchen. So there's that. But aside from that, hey, what the heck? You know, why not? There we go. Awesome sauce. So this is a very basic home. I'm sure it'd be cheap to rent. Like, I don't know how much it would be to rent, but it's sure it's cheap because there's not much in there, to be honest. It's basic. All right. Love it. What we? Oh, yeah. So now we're going to the gazebo. I added this, like, picnic table thinking I was going to add, like, a roof towards the end we didn't add a roof so i just switched that up for a one with a umbrella so there'd be shading in case you want to sit out in the sun and not get sunburned because getting sunburned is a thing in the sims you know it is a thing all right next house woohoo yay well apartment rather uh yeah there we go bathroom up top in the same area kind of very symmetrical as you'll see and note yeah Okay, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. So there we go. So another bed there. Kind of in the similar spot. I did pick different colored beds, as you saw, so that way they're not all the same. You know, why not switch it up a bit? Okay, little bathroom over here. Love it. Mirror there. Basic lights. Love my basic lights. They're just, they're amazing. These lights are amazing. I love the Sims for these basic lights. They bring off so much light, but they're so small. All right, we're here. And our tiny little fridge and microwave. I was going to try and fit a bigger kitchen in this one because I had more area, but no. 
I wasn't gonna be able to fit the uh, living space, so I said, nope, nope, we can't do that. So back to the drawing board we did with the mini fridge and the microwave again. Desk is over there, and we put our little kitchen, our living space right here. A smaller couch in this one, but you know, why not? It's fine. Where did I put that bookcase? Oh, I put it over there. That's right. All right, there we go. Yay! Look at how great this looks, though. I mean, how much do you want to pay for this? Like, I hundreds of millions? I don't know. Here we go. Yay! Little lighting over there. Paintings over there. Some little something something over there. I want to make it a little homey, a little more environmentally friendly, or like something they would enjoy. But you know, want to add plants somewhere, but. I couldn't fit a plant in there to save my life. I was like, nope, it's too tiny of a home. All right, last home. Here we go. Woohoo! These ones do have, as you know, L shaped staircases because they fit so well in the bigger ones. Loved this one. However, I realized though that the living space in this one was going to be a little awkward, but it's fine. It's fine! I did have to change up where I put the kitchen because it wasn't going to work where I had it originally, as you'll note. So we're moving it over here. Yay. And of course, each of the houses has different counters because why would they be the same? That'd just be so weird. So now I'm going to add the little um, chair over here. It's just, yeah, it's, well, it's there. So yay. I wanted to be somewhere totally nicer, but nope, that's about it. I was able to fit a floor lamp on this one. So one person gets a floor lamp. They are special. <laughs> Uh, I love those industrial lights though. I've never really used that hanging industrial light in any builds, I don't think so. That was a first, but it really worked out well for this. I loved it. So I've been over there. Got my little, little uh, windows. I don't want it to feel like a prison, so I had to add a lot of windows just to be nice, you know, because it did look kind of prison y, sort of. But it all works out. And those lights there, I love those too. I've never used those either, so it's a first time for everything, and this was that moment. Alright, little something over there, little bathroom over there. And again, this is very, like, a basic build. I didn't really want to go too, too in-depth with this, because... It's college life. What are you going to have? You're going to have stuff with you probably in your inventory. So I figured I might as well save some room in case they have that kind of stuff to put on their own walls. All right. A little light over there. I finally did find that university lamp light for the desk that I couldn't find earlier. So that was fun. Yay. Some little wall art here and there. Yeah. Why not? A little clutter. Clutter will make it better. And that's when I went back and put the other one that I found earlier in the, on the first build, so that's that. That's that. A clutter over there, clutter over here. And then after that, we go back and we put all the little details on everything, little roofing on everything over here. So that essentially, guys, is the build. Um, we're just adding roofing right now. I add a couple of trees in the way, way back eventually, just for, you know, make it look really homey and not too out there, but that's really it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Do like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any challenges you want me to do, comment below. Any questions, suggestions, comment below. I'm open to anything and everything in The Sims. I love The Sims and so do you guys. So thanks for watching. And as always, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah. Oh, um, this is where we tried to do the roof on the gazebo and it wasn't going to work. Yeah, I figured out what I was doing wrong and I'm like, oh, here we go. But it looked like the roof was going to be touching the sides of the houses. So I was like, oh no, open gazebo, that's that. So then we changed up and added that umbrella picnic table. So, all right, that is the build. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in another build or video or Let's Play or something soon. All right, bye.